All right, we're here in my Vermi Hut indoor worm bin, and the last time we were in here, we started an experiment. We did mangoes versus apples. So right underneath here, right below the surface, are two pieces of mango cut in half and an apple cut in half. So let's dive right in and see how they did. Now, on that last video, we had people comment and tell me which one they thought would go first, and we had three people say that the apple would go first and six said the mango would go first. So I'm not sure that we're gonna do any extra feeding. This is kind of more of an update to see how they're doing. And I am seeing lots of worms right under the surface. In fact, I'm just gonna kind of jump in and see what I can find under here. And right here is one of the apples. So let's kind of push it aside and see what we've got. It feels really mushy. The underside is kind of wrinkly and it has a lot of its flesh in there. And I actually see little tiny white worms, which are pot worms. So the apple has excited those, and there's a little bit of mites right down, I see in between these two little pieces of cardboard. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some mites right there. And that makes sense. Apples probably add just a bit of acidity to the bin and both Cutworms and mites like bin conditions that are just a little bit more acidic. And obviously it's a food source for them. So I would say the apple's definitely not eaten completely yet. So let's go ahead and dig for the mango. But actually, let me jump underneath and just see how many worms were right under that apple. And sure enough, the liquids possibly dripping down from there or them sensing it brought them up and around the apple. All right, right next to it was one of the mangoes. So let's check on that. And holy, holy mackerel, check out all those worms. That is like a serious worm ball right there. I mean, I can even hear it. I can hear them like wiggling against each other. That is crazy. In fact, I checked on this about two days ago. And as soon as I lifted the lid, I just kind of heard the, the sounds of the worms moving against each other. And that's a legit worm ball. I mean, they are right on top of that. We also put in a couple pieces of lettuce as a control just to show you how fast they eat that. And I think one was somewhere around here. In fact, it may be right here, or maybe that's why there's a bunch of worms there, but I don't know. That's just a ton of worms right around that mango. Look at that. That is another like, I mean, there are hundreds right here in this worm ball. That is absolutely incredible. <laughs> All right, let's see how they did on that mango. I'm just gonna kind of push off the top. Now on top of the mango, we put a little bit of amendments and those amendments were coffee grounds and some eggshell, pulverized eggshells and also some pulverized oats. And sure enough, what I'm finding here is, I think this is the seed. I see a lot of fibers right here. And this is just a bunch of worms. They are actually knotted down into it so I don't want to pull them off, but I think what we have here is most of the flesh gone and them, you know, all the way down into the seed. In fact, I'm going to go on the other side of the seed and there's what the flesh looks like. And it's wicked mushy. In fact, I bet you I just kind of opened a, a wormhole. I opened a wormhole <laughs> for them. So they're probably going to attack that between now and when I check on this again. So seed, they ate it all the way down to the seed and around the seed, and they're getting down into here. All right, let's go on to the next part, which is the apple. And again, just kind of show you worms all over the place. And there's blue worms and red wigglers in here. The thicker ones are the red wigglers. And the ones like this one right there is he's moving around on top of a red wiggler. But the darker, thinner ones are the blue worms. All right, next was an apple and we'll expect to see it about as much as the other one as far as being eaten. And I'm just gonna kind of push it aside. Bunch of worms getting into it right here. But apple is actually kind of a slow food in my bins. In fact, I think in most people's bins. So this does have a little depth into it. Some of the apple flesh is still in here. I think the top maybe got dried out by the amendments that I put on it, but right in here are a ton of worms just kind of, I think they're kind of going in between the skin and what was put on top. 
So they're definitely attacking it. And then now let's go to the next mango. Now this one, because it didn't have a seed, it may be, you know, mostly gone. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. Oh yeah. Check that out. Tons of worms right there. Check it out. It's like a whole nother worm ball. Oh my gosh. And this is coffee grounds. That's just kind of matted coffee grounds. Obviously, I put them on a little too thick because they formed like a little shell. But this is what is left of that half of a mango. Here is the skin part. And right there is the flesh. You can even see the fibers. But right here is just a bunch of worms. And I can see some of that newspaper we put on the very bottom. It was on the top. It had gotten tattered, so we put it below the feeding zone. And just worms, worms, worms. That is phenomenal. Check it out. They were definitely enjoying that food. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the feeding zone. Um, this right here with this coffee, I don't really like how that kind of turned out. So I don't think I'm going to add any amendments. I'm just going to reset the feeding zone and I may add some lettuce on top of here. So let me kind of set that up. And because, uh, I don't know, I'm not really feeding, I'm not going to kind of mix it up how I usually do. I'm just going to reset right here. After I dig for more worms, I can hear them. I can hear them and I can feel them. And now we can see them. Check it out. I could just sit here all day and look at this. <laughs> oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, here we go. All right, let's make a little bit of a hole. And the dampness is, the moisture level is really good. Um, right where some of that stuff was together, matted down, feels a little dry. But again, that's why I try not to put my amendments on, in a thick layer like the coffee or the pulverized oats and you know what I think I am going to put some bedding because the level down is pretty low so it does need more bedding and check that out I'll try I'll fast forward this a little bit but I've just got worms all over my hands so for now I think I would say mango for the win um, they're the leader <laughs> things could change but right now, it's mango for the win. Um, we'll see if this flesh over here disappears before the apple. But I'm not counting skins. I'm not counting seeds. Because that mango seed's going to take forever. But if that flesh is gone by the next time and there's still some apple, then we'll officially call it for mango. But let's go ahead and put... Now that I'm thinking about it, this is kind of dry. I'm just going to put just a little bit of lettuce down. And then we'll put all this stuff down. So my mom has helped me out. She likes to put her stuff in a Ziploc bag for me. So... That's where I'm getting it. In goes some lettuce. This is from her garden. Looks like some of it went to seed. So that will help kind of moisten up the bedding. And now let's find these parts of the mango. What do you think, top or bottom? I think I'm gonna put the, I don't know. Flip it. Flip it, okay. Executive producer says flip it. And then here's an apple, we'll flip the apple. And then the, what's left of just a little bit of mango right there oh wow <laughs> and then the other apple right there actually let's go apple mango apple mango and then i'll put some of this on top and then we're just going to kind of fill in and maybe with this little section of worms here we can do a time lapse put that over put those on there oh here's that coffee I think the coffee grounds are a little bit bigger than they typically are. <laughs> There's actually a worm in there. I'm not going to mess with it too much. I'll just kind of bury it down. But there we go. All right, let's, with this worm ball, do a time lapse in my vermi hut. There we go. All right, there are just a few that are kind of taking their sweet time. So I'm not going to put any amendments on the top either. 
we'll just kind of let this how it goes. And I had, did have a commenter that mentioned when I didn't have newspaper to put on top that I could just use a paper grocery bag. And we have so many, I don't know why we didn't think of that. But next time, I'll go ahead and lay that on top. So this is the update. I'm going to come back in seven days and we'll see how much more they have eaten down. And we'll see if mango is the absolute clear winner in this little experiment here. So I hope everybody is having a great day. I hope your warm bins are going well. So happy vermicompost, everybody. Take care now.